afraid we're gonna have to hold off for one more week. Well, hola amigos, welcome back to Sonny's Place. My name is Emma and this officially is the eighth week of raising our Cornish cross chickens for meat. And I'm afraid that we're gonna have to push back their harvest day to week nine. Although we're gonna have quite a few that actually reach our goal weight of eight pounds. Silly chickens. We actually have some stuff coming up that's gonna prevent us from actually harvesting them. And that primarily being uh, the Ozarks Homesteading Expo. So that's coming up here in the next weekend and we're just not gonna be available to harvest the chickens. So we're gonna have to push it back a week. It's only gonna ensure that our chickens are a good size and we'll be able to fill up that freezer with some nice, plump, delicious, tasty, pasture-raised Cornish cross chicken. So I'm looking forward to that. So that means that this time around, we're not gonna actually weigh the chickens because they're pretty close to that finished weight. So today I just wanted to keep it nice and short to show you how good the chickens look. They look absolutely fantastic. They're healthy, they're uh, running around. I've got turkeys that are just following me around. They're absolutely hilarious. actually going to be building the turkey tractor uh, here in the next few days to better accommodate our little gobblers. But since this video is about our Cornish crosses, we're going to stay focused on that. But I did want to address something because there was somebody on one of our Facebook groups that challenged me when I was talking about uh, pasture raising our Cornish crosses. The argument is that this breed of chicken is just not a good chicken to uh, run on pasture. And, and part of it is based on their argument that, you know, these chickens aren't necessarily looking for the grass to feed on and they're not turning it over, turning it over as the other breeds that we have, like the uh, Buff Orpingtons and the Wyandots and Wellsummers. And that's true. But my goal is not to raise the Cornish crosses on pasture with that in mind. My goal is to provide a better environment for the Cornish crosses to thrive and to be healthy and to have some room to spread their wings. Because chicken tractors are a really great mechanism to allow you to grow quite a few birds in a small space. But if you've got the space and you've got some infrastructure in place, thanks to our Premier One fencing, uh, we're able to open up that space and let the chickens roam freely and really thrive in this space. So while his argument is sound, it doesn't take into account the purpose of putting Cornish crosses on pasture. But as you can see, we have a really healthy flock. They're eating well, they're nice and plump. When you're doing something differently than some other folks or taking more <laughs> unconventional approaches, there's always gonna be questions around that. And that's fine as long as you have a solid reasoning for what you're doing, which I think I absolutely do. I am curious to hear what you guys think. If you guys want to leave your thoughts in the comments, um, I would love to hear them. I would love to hear any arguments to the contrary of that. It's just an interesting conversation that I think uh, merits some further discussion. And it is something that I have discussed with other homesteaders who raise Cornish crosses, one of them being Jack over at uh, the Mindful Homestead. We've had several conversations uh, about raising our Cornish crosses on grass and uh, freeing them of the kind of tractor uh, experience and method. Again, there is nothing wrong with doing that. It's just that we prefer to do it a different way. And that doesn't mean that it's right or wrong. It's just how we want to do things. But I do want to keep this one kind of short and sweet and just show you how our chickens are looking and let you know that we are pushing our harvest back to week nine. I hope you join us for that video. We're going to be sharing how we set up the stations. Thing will be organized from the kill cones to where we have the scalders to the pluckers and then finally the evisceration station. There's going to be a lot to do this that day and to show so I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Emma from Sonny's Place encouraging you to grow your best life. Adios!